Hello, hello guys. So today, oh Lord. <laughs> hello, hello guys. So today we're going to be um, unboxing and doing a fragrance check on the Dior fragrance set. I have like 14 fragrances here. Uh, uh, 14 fragrances, fragrances. I can't talk fragrances <laughs> to get through. So y'all, let's go ahead. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Okay, guys, you know what? I literally, my lips were a little dry. So I just put on some of this um, Irresistible um, Rose Pattaya or whatever. Uh, if y'all haven't seen the video where I unbox them, I will link it over here. And then the video where I um, pretty much go through and swatch, swatch them and put them on my lips so y'all can see. I will link that there. But I should have thought that through because this is very fragrant and I can smell it on my lips. So, um... Gosh, I hope that don't mess with the my scents. Really quick, let me go ahead and walk you guys through. I did get like some little pieces of paper. I know y'all, bear with me. I did order some test strips, but I didn't want to wait till they came in. So I just made some out of uh, printer paper, cut them into pieces. I have a bigger smell area anyway, and I labeled them so I knew what was going on. But yeah, y'all, let's get into it. The first one is this. I'm gonna be looking embarrassed. Uh, suave, savage, whatever. Suave, savage. Y'all, I probably should have looked that up. But this actually came as a little sample, and it's the Dior, whatever, elixir. Y'all see the name. <laughs> Dang. Don't judge me. Um, All right, I think this might be like a men's cologne, so. Ooh. Oh! This is men's. I should've just did. Lord! Oh, why do that? I should've just did one spray. You know what, from here on out, I'm doing one spray because this is strong. This is men's cologne, for real. This is strong. It smells good, but it's strong. And I'm not no professional at this, y'all. So if y'all looking for, like, these notes and stuff, I'll I'll put the little notes description on the side somewhere. But I can't smell cologne and perfume and tell you what notes are in there. There are people on here that can. I'm just telling you if it smells good or not. Um, with a little bit of comic relief, apparently, unintentionally. Oh, girl. This is, oh, this is strong, honey. Let me see what the thing said again. Elixir. Is elixir code for um, heavily oil face? That's child. It smells. <laughs> he, smell, he smells sexy. He smells like mm, when you're coming out of the woods into a clearing that has like ocean water. Like he smells like you would be sitting on a beach, breathing in a cool ocean breeze mixed with the, the like smells of the woods behind you and add a dash of sex. Not like, not sex like whenever you're the smell that come from whenever you, the body fluids exchange. <laughs> oh, child, I hope y'all old enough to be on here. Oh, no, he smelled good, baby. Did I get this for my husband? If not, we gonna get it. Good thing I can't have no more kids, honey, because this right here, this will give it to him, okay? This smells good. Next, I have these in order. We have, I got a little sample bottle of this. Isn't this cute? Um, we have the DuJour, which people rat and rave about this. So in the stores, they be having coffee. So in the stores, they have coffee. So I just told one of my kids to go get me 
coffee ground. <laughs> it's like professional. Let's clear the palette. <laughs> du jour. Okay. She's like, she's quiet. I mean, she's not like heavy. She's she's quiet and classy. Like this strikes me as somebody that's like in a workplace and she's very docile, if you will, very calm, cool, collected, and like she's about her business. Very sweet and it's like just a tinge of like that of a little little a little boss in her but really she quiet as she do what she's supposed to do she's not a boss she'll work her bee to make you want to turn her head when she walked by though i wouldn't be like breaking my neck but it's like oh she smells nice mm-hmm yeah she smells nice i would probably pair her with something or if i was going to like a parent teacher meeting and you're not trying to assert dominance, but a parent-teacher meeting or something like that. Um, this is cute. Okay, this is the Jour, um, the alcohol-free, the um, Inns perfume or whatever. Comes in this bottle. I got the big bottle because y'all already know I like it. I, I got the big bottle. Uh, well, I didn't get the big. Oh, sorry. I didn't get the really big bottle. I got like the medium. Um, I got the smaller bottle of this. But I liked it enough, I didn't want like a trial size. Ugh, I don't know why I sprayed that much. I've already worn her. Um, she's beautiful alone, but she smells even better paired. When she's paired up with somebody. Um, like I paired her with Delilah. <laughs> she's, she's fragrant. Now, She's fragrant, but she's still light. She smells like an ocean breeze. That's what she smells like, honey. She smells like clean laundry. Clean laundry at the ocean breeze. You know how, like, they have the commercials where they have, like, the clothes hanger and they have, like, the sheets outside on, like, a beachfront and it's just blowing in the wind? I can't remember if that's commercial or if that's in my head. But that's what this smells like. This smells like clean linen. Clean linen with a hint of sea breeze. Like a light, airy sea breeze. Whereas um, Suave or whatever was like a sexy, like the light, Suave was like, it's, it's getting, um, it's in the afternoon hours. Lights are dimming down. This one, it's the daytime. You're happy, you're carefree, you're in a good space. Things are going good. That's what she smells like. She smells happy. She smells good. She smells like she's happy. Next, we have Miss Dior. The plain Miss Dior. Everybody swears by this. Um, and I actually got the lotion in this because my um, cousin-in-law was saying that the lotion was good and she likes just the scent. So I was like, let me go ahead and order it. This is what prompted me to order all of these, honestly. Um, and I didn't want to get big bottles for everything, so I got these, and I, I kind of cheated a little bit because some of these I smelled at Nordstrom, so I was comfortable with getting these. But I got the roll-on, a good travel side. This is glass, by the way. This is glass, and it's beautiful, beautiful. So let's just go ahead and roll you on, girl. You gonna roll or no? I mean, okay, I, that's probably enough. And these are screw on, so. I mean, she has like a hint of like, she smells a little, a little spicy. It's definitely different from the other ones. She's a little spicy. Not spicy, spicy, like, mm, but like, she kind of, it's kind of reminiscent of like an older woman. Not like old, old, but I want to say like 40s, 50s. 
possibly a youthful 60. I don't know if this strikes my fancy. I mean, I would wear it. Maybe pair it on top of something else. What? I don't know. I would have to experiment. But she smells nice. Just not my speed. She just smells older. She smells like Miss Dior. <laughs> ah! Blooming Bouquet. Same bottle. This is also a roll on. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Oh, okay. She smells like a bouquet. A very fresh bouquet. Like, there's no other way to describe it. Like, an assorted flowers. Not just like, oh, just roses. Like, a big, beautiful assortment of flowers. I would wear her, and I would probably wear her going to like a family get together places where I want to smell good but I don't want to be like snapping necks and I don't want people to be like I want to jump on her I would wear her she would be good layered too mm -hmm. Miss Dior roses and roses again same bottle she's a roll on rolling 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 oh She's not super strong. Like this is something that I would, this would be a nice little under layer. I feel like with rosy stuff, for the most part, not all of them, but for the most part, you have to, they're a nice layer. Like they're a foundational layer for what you spray on top. Ooh, I bet this are bouquet and then you spray this one on top of it. Girl, you'd be smelling like a summer day, a beautiful summer day. She's nice. She does smell like roses. Like faint roses, not like the fragrant boom in your face roses, but like when you get roses and you want to smell them and it's not a whole lot of them, it's just like a dozen. That's what she smells like. So that was all of the testers. Now we are going to move on to this beautiful scent. I'm so excited. Ooh, and um, actually um, Super Dacum did... Um, a video about some of these I guess are going out of production or something like that so I'm excited to finally which is why I went ahead and start smelling these to finally smell these and figure out which ones I want to grab if they're on that list and I will insert that list for you that I got from his um, his video um, later I mean at the bottom in the description box so the first one is Amber Nuance. It's Amber Nuit or what have you. And these are just screw off and dab. So I'm just gonna do that. And I don't know if you can see, but it's just a little bit. I don't want to do too much. One, because I don't want to waste it. Um Okay, that's really light. I gotta put it all the way up to my nose. I don't know what that smells like. Right now it smells like paper. I'm gonna put a little bit more on here because this ain't doing it for me. And also, just so you know, in case you didn't know, a lot of times things that smell a certain way on paper smells different on your skin. Um, I just figured that it wouldn't be of any use to you guys for me to put 14 things on my skin. And my uh, skin chemistry might be different from yours anyway, so. It's, each fragrance isn't going to smell the exact same on two people. Okay, so Amber is smoky. I'm getting like smoky with a little like tinge of mint. Hey y'all, so I'm back. Sorry, I am looking homely <laughs> right now. As you can see, my hairstyle has changed and everything. Um, it's actually been a few days in between, so... Yeah, but we're going to pick up where I left off. So, um, I've actually been using <laughs> the Dior bouquet. It smells so good. Um, let me see if these pieces of paper still smell the same. Oh, and I realized that Savage Dior, I actually bought for my husband, like, last year. It's still on this paper! So, the next, so the next one is Boys. Degar, I don't know how to pronounce these, so yeah. 
I mean, it's not very strong. As you can see, I got to put it way up to my nose. I don't even... What is that? Okay, this is very faint. I don't really smell anything of this at all. So... Yeah, I don't really smell anything of this at all. I'm not going to lie to you. Next. Okay, next we have Grease Dior. Oh, Lord. Okay, ooh. Okay, I like poured it on this paper. They need to put these samples in like a little spray bottle or something. It is ridiculous. I hate dab bottles. I really do. I really hate these dab bottles. That's for like old people. It, since grease is gray, makes sense. Smells like old people. Old Dior. Grease Dior, Grey Dior. No, wouldn't wear it. I mean, it doesn't smell bad. It just smells like an old person. Like a, a, a tidbit of mothball. Pass. You know what? That's what I'll do. I will put these on my skin. And, yeah. I'll put these on my skin. And then I'll make a Instagram post. And I'll go down the line for each one of them and tell you on my skin, yay, nay, maybe. So next we have Jasmine, Des, and G's. I'm really not impressed at this point. Let me make sure I don't be pouring nothing now. Okay, now we are getting somewhere. Jasmine? I mean, Jasmine actually got put up to my nose, but she's nice. I would wear her, like, on a casual day. Or to work out, honestly, to work out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Now we're at old ice fan. <laughs> that might not even be how you say it. But I just remember the reviews, and they said that this was very pungent. I think they said it was like a you either like it or you don't type thing. So we'll see. And when I put these on, I'm... I can kind of smell off the bottle. When I put these on, I'm going to put these on at night. That's my trick. I put new perfumes on when I get out the shower um, and at night so that I can smell them. And, like, if I don't like them, I'll go to sleep by the time they wear off. Especially when you're dealing with some of these expensive perfumes. I'll go to sleep. And these are a little bit, I think these are supposed to be more oil-based. I don't know. Oh, this is strong. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I actually like this one. And I think this is definitely more for a man, but a woman can wear it. Um, oud seems to be that way. This reminds me of growing up, or this reminds me of DC in the African and all the black neighborhoods where um, they're burning incense. You know what I mean? It smells like those places. Like when you go in those African shops and it smells like incense. And not like bad incense. Like, because all incense are not created equal. But powdery, fresh, like earthy incense. This, yes. I mean, I would spray this to get, like, a zen going. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't spray this. If I smelled it on somebody, that's what it would make me think of. But I would more spray this. Now, this sounds really bougie. But I would spray this, like, in a room. You know what I mean? Like, to create an ambience. I would spray this in a room, especially, like, a workout room or, like, a meditation room. This makes me happy. Yeah. I like it. So now we're moving on to Holy Peony. I love peonies, but everybody says that this is very faint. Um, so I think this might be like one of those layering ones or the ones that you like top off or something like that. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and clear um, my nose because the oud is very strong. Oh, I love it. I love peonies. What's going on with that light? Oh, 
this smells so good. Okay. Holy peony. I would wear it. This isn't that faint. Like, I thought it was going to be like, I need the, it's really not that faint. Peony in itself isn't very, like, super strong. It's like a step back from how roses smell. Like, roses and perfume slap you in the face. Peony, I feel like, is a little bit more subtle. I would wear her. She smells like a good girl. Like Rihanna before she went bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, next we're going to do um, El Cole Nore. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? Girl. Ooh, don't cancel me. Okay, let's get a little, a little bit of, uh, uh, sprinkle, sprinkle a little, uh, uh. Oh, no, that's strong. Gosh, I feel like this smells like something, like another fragrance from it. So, this fragrance gives me Chanel vibes. What about it? I don't know. Because I'm not like a fragrance connoisseur. But it gives me like subtle vibes of Chanel. Like the Paris Paris. That's what it reminds me of, I think. I'm not going to go get Paris Paris and compare it. But it smells good. It smells like, I mean, it smells like an office fragrance. Not something I would just wear out. It smells like an office. <sighs> She's not a head turner, but she smells like a work lady. Like corporate America, not like, I don't know. Yeah, she smells like corporate America. Ooh, spice blend. Ooh, strong old lady. Our man, this is a man or a woman, but I think it lean, it's more masculine. It smells like my dad, and he would, he was like born in the 40s. <laughs> it smells like, like a version, a, a older person that has like a tinge of hip, like a peep, like a little bit of hip, hip hop, hip hop and all those. Oh, okay. It's opening up. It smells okay. But it could be nostalgia because it reminds me of my dad. Next, we have Vanilla Diorama. Now, people said that this smells really good. And I'm I'm curious about this one because my husband loves the vanilla smells. Um, So, let's see. This might be like a good layering. Oh, that's definitely vanilla. We'll let this open up a little bit, though. I think some of them need time to open. It's like vanilla and, like, vanilla with, like, a tinge of maybe, I want to say eucalyptus or, like, licorice. I, this is still giving me more masculine vanilla vibes. I... I would spray this in my house. Like, this would be wonderful in a candle, I think. I don't know if I would spray it on my body. Last one. Rogue Telefogger. I don't know what that... Again, probably butchered it. Whatever. Y'all will see it in the sides, so. Oh, this is... Oh, this is unisex, too, I feel like. Because it's a little too sweet to be fully masculine, but it's... This smells like church. Oh, nope. Or like an open meadow. And a nice spring day with like a fresh spring rain. Not like dirt was kicked up in the rain, but like fresh rain with beautiful wildflowers and sunny days. Oh, this smells delicious. I would want this. 
this is very refreshing. It's not like a sexy or anything like that. None of these, honestly, are like, in this container, are like sexy. They're more like, you're going to wear them. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, that was all of them. Yes, so that is my review of the Dior um, fragrances and yeah. So um, let me know if you guys actually have any of these fragrances and if you do or if you smell them, which ones do you love? Like which ones do you agree with me on and which ones don't you? But yeah, until next time guys. Oh, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and share this video with people because I mean, we all need to smell good. If you smell good, You'll want to look good. If you want to look good, then you'll feel good. You know what I mean? But anyway, deuces, 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 deuces.